Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. I think the cinematic still holds up today is probably one of the best cinematics in gaming. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Also just Udina, because he's a dick. Really? Welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Pro I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the... On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. 
I want to know more about Citadel. Yeah, I'll be skipping all if you of this. Wish to learn more, Executor Palin's Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics. Maint the Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. How come the Volus were the first species In the given early it? years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, they established many new co in recognition of their work to expand interstate. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide per It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal Why complaints. were people trying to keep my species out? Some species... The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Do you know anything? Their primary role is preserved. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the city. Okay, so I gotta... Wander around here a little bit. Not sure why there's any frame dropping or anything going on at all on this game. I wasn't sure if the music was the was the game or the alarm on my phone going off for like two hours. Welcome to Pres the statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Tell me more about the Krogan Rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth... Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colony... For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's gonna stop? I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. What were the Rachni wars? Nearly 2200 years ago, a highly intelligent and aggressive insect race. The emergence of the Krogan finally... The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that... Why did the Council... The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the Rebellion. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered... That's all for Thank now. Thank you for um. using Avena. Have a pleasant day.
Do I actually have any money? Because I don't think I do. Yeah, not really. Uh, just play the game then. Do not disturb the keepers. Welcome to Presidio. To your left is one of. You may see keepers involved in various tasks throughout all. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. That's, That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Welcome. For your convenience, this terminal is programmed with... Tell me about Discovered the by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. What is the meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A rem or perhaps it is a symbol of unity? No one can say for sure, making the Relay Monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, the tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. I'd like to hear more about the Council Chambers. The business of the Council, which often has far-reaching effects on the galactic community, is conducted in a room at the apex of the Citadel Tower. The Council Chambers themselves are truly a magnificent sight to behold, though few get to experience the view in person. Typically, only the counselors, ambassadors, and high-ranking officials, along with various support staff, are allowed access. I'm scheduled only to Only a handful of visitors to the Citadel are ever granted that privilege. I would be jealous. What if someone has business with the council? The average citizen must go through the proper channels if... Even then, few are given access to the actual council chambers. In most cases, the ambassador acts on behalf. I'd like to know more about the key. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the op Citadel regulations protect the keepers against interference. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Any Citadel. Any particular reason there are so many keepers in this area? The keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, the keepers also make frequent appearances in the council chamber itself. Though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. That's all for now. Thank you for it's funny how little they actually know about anything. They just inhabit the Citadel and then kind of make assumptions about pretty much everything. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. 
Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the Council waiting. won't be joining the council for years. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. And my witness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. 
You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. The Rule shadow broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the Gal They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. You and Saren have a history. About 20. Saren eliminated. But I saw how he operates. Yeah. yeah. I guess he's not going to actually no tell hesitation. the real story. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. You don't think much. The guy of joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The, the guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. But it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I want to know more They're about They're not your typical government agency. They tend... It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People, they see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone... They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are, but the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The, la the entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. Tell me more He's a necessary that. evil of galactic policy. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Do He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. Um, where am I? Guys, up. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh, I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested. I could help you out. I'm not worried I don't even you. know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going. Yes, I have...
No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. I remember, like, uh, the first time I played this game, I thought uh, scanning the keepers was so incredibly important. And I think I, I missed, like, one or two, so I didn't ever finish the quest. <laughs> and then you, you come to find out, like, it's it's not really relevant. Like, it's, it's free XP, but that's about it. to stop being sick. <laughs> I love this elevator music. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. Please do not disturb the keepers. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind forcing it? religious evangelicals to register? The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you'd like, I could talk to the hand. I've argued with the stubborn jelly all. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit? Finances are only a part. However, this one also... 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated... This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. See, the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors.
What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Sarah? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business, until Saren turned on him. Saren's turned on a lot of people here. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want... Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Commander. How can I be of assistance to you today, Earth Clan? Mm -hmm. Tell me more about the Shadow. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real current but the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments. All Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess? I don't know. Idea? Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a... Th How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could... Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy... I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I... D Goodbye, Commander. Why are you lying to me? Oh, you gotta go down.
In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold they, until backers have some reassurance. They do a good job in this entire trilogy of uh, world building. Like, just all the time. Even when you get in the elevator and you hear the news, it's discussing stuff that happened and kind of expanding upon it. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. Time we paid Fist. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in here. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to fall. Move out. Okay, but. There's some. not. Okay, Jaleed. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorban, he's threatened you? Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What are you doing here? I am Jaleed. I came here to... My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He can't do this himself, I guess. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show. Just tell me where he is. Oh, right. Well, he wanted. His name's Shorban. He's a celebrity. Shorban? That's the guy who asked us to scam. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's I better look into this right away. Find a way. Well, good luck. Um, anyway. This guy had to say. Hello, Commander.
Not without an airlift. This way either, honestly. Um whatever. I'm here, so investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. No promises. But if I find Thank anything... you, Commander. You won't regret it. Um... I guess you, you can't do the, the Vista stuff until later. Oh, here's one. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid fist. This fist. is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. Welcome aboard. Fist is going to be waiting. Actually, no. Um... Wasn't there an info? I thought there was like an info. I need. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess I don't need it because you can come back later. Um, because, uh, 
there are a bunch of like medium decryptions and stuff, I think. Why am I not being attacked already? Oh, I guess it's because I like it I went too close to the door the first time. So they're already hostile. Eris, what the f- I mean, Rex. Line of sight, bro. did this like quite wrong um i don't know if this really has any effect on the rest of the game or not i never skipped going in here peacefully before any closer warehouse workers all the real guards must be dead stay back or we'll shoot this would be a good time to find somewhere else to work yeah yeah right that's a good idea yeah i never like fist anyway <laughs> it would have been quicker to just yeah wouldn't it actually shooting people isn't always the answer i guess they're easy decryption but still you gotta have the the party member with you that can actually decrypt, even though I think uh, a shepherd can. I thought there was more than one. Now there's a, like a wall safe in here too. Go, go, go! 
How do I unity? How do I meta gel? Uh, that's how I guess. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? <laughs> the Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed people. Bridge. died because of him. That quarian's dead if we don't. Um, where? Oh, I gotta kill more people too. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. <laughs> I never really understood that, like... Rapey Turian in this mission. Throw mastery. Oh, okay. Apparently, I am missing achievements. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need we to We could move. take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. 
My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. I like how the, the Quarians are, are like quite literally the uh, humans from Battlestar Galactica. In, in pretty much every possible way. Except that in Battlestar Galactica, they, they still have never quite uh, explained the origin story very well. Because Caprica obviously sucked and it got cancelled after one season. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My... You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage... I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Um... Earth Clan, you are in the room. Chastising wrong. remark. I am Din Korlak, 
Volus Ambassador. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. Chastising rebuke, <laughs> Dan. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this I'd like to know more about I'm you. sure our history and culture would bore you. Actually, I would like to know. My people came to the Citadel. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions... Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We... Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones in event... Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. You seem to have a bit of... You humans are... Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. <laughs> Details. We still have no real... S yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Please greeting. You I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for Tell you? Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. <laughs> I like how they like the announce their history of my people. like their tone it is agreeable to share before they say something. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when, with their help, we discovered the relay close. Proudly, within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel. And quickly became one of the more active species. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, Elk. we Elcor prefer the safety infamy. Our society is built on small, tight knit groups. Though we are, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden change. Modestly, I uh, hope to. They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate. And I'm Goodbye, skipping man. some of this stuff because I'm trying to well. keep this video to you, human. This Enjoy your time on the short as possible. Bear, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted. You seem distressed. Is there Alarmed something? response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to Okay, well, I'm Good concerned about that right now. Oh, Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spend a moment um, on your time? I think there's a couple of keepers up here. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. I'm me, I'm just here to hack your computer. talk to you either <laughs> I'm not gonna pay you the respect of talking to you after hacking your computer this place seems strange I wish there were more humans around it's all the keepers it's five more where are they Oh, 
Oh, they're probably in the, the market area. I could not. I never properly... I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Me too. Now, is there anything you need? Let me take a look at what you have for sex. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument Looks at like you have I'm sorry, I just never thought... It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a CSEC officer? I officer? shouldn't really say too much. Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors might... I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Twelve. Twelve. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? <sighs> Anything for a fan? Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so I doubt impressed. It. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. I'm looking for keepers, sir. up in in flux a few of my people have visited here on their pilgrimage but their descriptions of the wards hardly do them justice I think there's one in the docking bay. Oh, uh, you can't actually scan that one. My bad. Um.
Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Commander Shepard, step I like how there's an audience, like, just chilling. Even though that... E even though, uh, Avina explicitly said, like, it's... The council chambers aren't publicly accessible. Like, so who are all these people? They're all diplomats, I guess? It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations. We've Commander. got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. 
You should Anderson, go down to the... come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Right behind you, Commander. Oh, now I get you into you. Okay. That's it for now, uh, just because it's already been longer than I wanted this video to be. So, uh, tune in next time, <laughs> as if anyone's watching. But no, seriously, uh, I will continue this. I think we'll we'll do Mass Effect Monday. Um, I won't really hold to that schedule because uh, I'm sure I'll be bored and. 100% of the time, so that's how I do things. Whenever I feel like doing stuff, I will record it. Peace, everybody.